if pop star Lizzo married pop star Justin Bieber and then eventually divorced from Justin Bieber and married pop star Bad Bunny, she would be Lizzo Bieber Bunny. Please welcome yourself and everyone you know to Heavenly Album Covers. We've got a couple of things to share, and sharing is what YouTube and Internet life is all about. Um, this morning, I received um, this big bag of stuff from the Trump Organization. This big bag goes along with these um, Trump shoes that finally arrived on Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, UPS brought these Trump shoes and um, I ordered these a long time ago, a couple of months ago, right when I heard about them. This is the cheaper shoe, the cheaper Trump shoe. They were less expensive and they're silver. The uh, really expensive Trump shoes are gold. They're, they've got extra padding and um, designs, embellishments on there. But um, these are really nice Trump shoes. Um, I'm not going to wear them, I'm, although I could wear them. They're my size. I'm just going to put them in a, a safe box and put it in the closet. I think they will increase in value. Maybe I can sell them off in um, five or six years. They came with a Trump money clip here. Um, they recommend that you clip your money to the back of the shoe. This is just demonstration money. It's a dollar bill. And you just clip it there. It's real safe. You know where it is. And um, they're real nice. They're real shiny. Um, real sturdy. The soles are thick. Um, I'm going to put some insoles in there just for fun. Even though I doubt if I'll ever wear them. And um, this is the bag that came along with these sneakers. Um, I had heard that some uh, buyers were going to receive this bag of extra Trump stuff. Um, but I didn't think I would ever get a, a extra bag of stuff. So um, inside this bag are items that um, Trump, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump are very fond of. Things from his childhood. Um, these are mostly facsimiles of things that he grew up with. And um, let me get a tiny sip of coffee. It's about to rain again. The This storm is... Um, been blowing through here for about two weeks now, which is good for the plants. Our two little apple tree seedlings are sprouting strictly because it's been raining a long time um, recently, and that's cool. We're going to let the, the sprouts get bigger and then plant them in the <clears throat> actual dirt. And so here's the Trump um, bag of stuff. I was really excited looking through this when I opened the package from, uh, came from Missouri of all places. I think there's a UPS hub in Missouri. And um, most incredible, there's a facsimile of the uh, top secret classified documents that Trump took from the White House. And um, it's fascinating reading. There's some um, strange pictures of uh, spies and um, weapons dealers and um, counterintelligence agents and stuff. The incredible thing is that um, inside these documents there's proof that uh, Melania Trump, the wife of Donald Trump, was uh, important in the uh, whole Kathy Griffin severed head stunt that she played on the, on, I think she uh, did that on Twitter and uh, social media, but it was actually Melania Trump's idea to, to have Kathy Griffin hold the severed head of Donald Trump. So um, that story is in these classified document facsimiles, so these alone are, uh, were worth getting the sneakers. Next up um, from the box is one of Trump's favorite childhood books, it's called The Happy Hollisters and the Mystery in Skyscraper City. 
this book inspired Trump at an early age to um, build skyscrapers and to be, become a land developer. And here are the Happy Hollisters in a boat. And um, it's great to get this. I've always wanted to read this. It's actually signed by President Trump. And it says, uh, to heavenly album covers, keep making album covers great, President Donald Trump. So I'm going to put that on the shelf and read it ASAP. Next up is um, one of Trump's favorite movies, and it finally came out on DVD, so he wanted to um, share it with the people that bought his sneakers, and it's called Disaster Zone, Volcano in New York. It's the widescreen version, and this movie is all about how um, New York City um, became involved in a volcano um, experience and uh, there were a lot of problems with the people of New York and then they figured it out somehow and um, everything was better so this is um, from the mind and the uh, intentions of Donald Trump he wanted all of his fa uh, fans and followers to get a copy of this came with the sneakers next up is the um, this product line came out of the uh, the Trump organization uh, only recently it's a Trump cassette player it's called a um, Byron Statics Trump cassette player Byron Statics is a well-known uh, audio manufacturer and um, inside is an audio um, version of Trump's book The Art of the Deal really great I'm gonna wear those sneakers maybe one day and uh, play my uh, audio tape in this thing. Next up, from the bag of um, sneaker stuff that came along with the sneakers, are um, um, some, I don't know what you would call these, they're fireworks on a uh, very small scale. They're called poppets, and they're little bags of, um, of gunpowder inside, and you throw them on the ground and they, they go bang, and uh, kids love them. And Trump, apparently Trump wanted to share these because he's such a patriot and a uh, American um, citizen, I guess. Trump also, he's always doing something. He started his own line of eye care products. This is a lens cleaner made by Total Vision for the Trump uh, company. And... Um, you spray this on your glasses when they get smudgy and it um, you take a cloth wipe off the glasses and it, everything's fine so uh, that's a new product that was in the bag and lastly there's Trump lip balm this is unopened I don't think I'll um, open it it uh, might increase in value one day but um, Trump is very um, thoughtful about people's lips and how they are um, treated. So this is lip balm. I'm not sure what these are, but they were in the bag. And some more poppets. I'm wondering if you could take the whole bag of poppets and throw it on the ground and it would cause a larger explosion. Let's move on to Eddie Peabody. And he's the man with the banjo. I'm going to adjust the lights here, so there's little littler glare. That's a little better. And um, I had great success at my old thrift store, the oldest thrift store in the world. Yesterday, it was a Sunday. They had already delivered the Trump sneakers, and I I didn't see them until I got home. And in the meantime, I purchased this album and four other albums, mostly Dixieland albums, which I'm not really into, but um, let me get some more coffee here. I think it's raining. And um, I've seen Eddie Peabody records before and album covers, and they're pretty much always um, very striking and uh, really nice. I just had to buy this. The um, the green colors on this, uh, the green shades 
on this cover are just um, extraordinary, really. Um, here's his banjo. He's holding his banjo very carefully and uh, lovingly, and it looks like he's leaning on a ship's steering wheel kind of thing here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And um, like I said, I purchased this um, on the same day that I got the Trump sneakers. And um, here's the lettering up here. It's quite um, expressive and um, artistic, really. It's beautiful. It's right over his head. So um, you can follow the lettering and come right down to his face and then go over to this area and then around. And um, that completes the the whole cover it, uh, just flows perfectly. Um, I like this um, sticker that was added later. It says Dot Stereophonic Ultra High Fidelity. And of course, high fidelity back in the 1950s didn't mean anything. It was just a, a fancy catchphrase. And this is on Dot Records. Let's look at the, al the actual vinyl album real quick. It's got the uh, the dot, the cute dot logo there, and it's in high fidelity. Not oh, it is in ultra high fidelity, and it's in stereo, so it's um probably sounds great. I've never heard Eddie Peabody. The back cover has your typical um record company record ads down here. They're all mostly Eddie Peabody records and um, it says here other great dot LPs we could kind of scan through some of these see if there's anything interesting surprisingly I've seen quite a few of these in the various places I record shop Six Fat Dutchman I think Alvino Ray played um, like a steel guitar kind of thing. Moon River, Lawrence, well, wherever you go, whatever you do, and wherever you look for records, there are Lawrence Welk records. The guy must have sold um, trillions of uh, albums. And um, the lettering up here says that uh, Eddie Peabody, the wizard of the banjo, displays his dazzling virtuosity. That's a great sentence. And uh, let's see if there's anything in interesting else that's on the cover. Um, his face, we didn't really um, zoom in on his face. He's got the ears, he's got the slightly large ears, and his haircut is, um, looks like a uh, Kansas cornfield up there. This lettering is awesome and uh, all looks kind of hand done, hand drawn from some graphic arts company. And then we got the song listings down here. So that's Eddie Peabody. And um, there were some photos. There are some photos, some photocopies of they're hard to get to here, so I put them on my iPad. They're very interesting. And um, here's that famous picture of comedian Kathy Griffin. This, this photographic post went around the world. It received um, tens of millions of um, views. And um, this, these classified documents prove that... Um, Melania Trump was behind the um, the whole thing. She was behind the stunt, and um, it's hard to believe, but um, Melania has that uh, vicious streak in her. And um, not only that, but uh, Cher was in on it. Um, hard to believe, too. Um, Melania and Cher are very good friends, and Cher is good friends with Kathy Griffin, and that's how they all devised this stunt. It's incredible these classified documents were well worth buying those sneakers for and um, also also I um, I was shaving this morning I nicked my nose and I 
Right now I'm currently wearing this. It keeps the the nose up so that the blood doesn't rush down. Apparently there's a whole series of these Happy Hollister books, but um, Trump especially liked this one. It um, really inspired him to um, get going, and grow up, and be a real estate tycoon.